currently we are seeing tendencies. It's very dangerous. Tendencies that are really, as I was just saying, accusing the minister who's just doing his job. Uh, we cannot interfere in traditional elections. That's not our business. If there is tradition, use the tradition. There might be a way to elect a person according to traditional customs. Then don't come to white courts. Because our courts are basically from the white, white, white courts. So the poor person is now being attacked. And then we defend him in public. <laughs> it's not your fault. People are fighting there, then they come to you. When you interfere in the not interfere act, they say you are interfering. You are dividing people. So that's not fair. I'm using the occasion to talk to traditional leaders. Please, 30% of my time is used on traditional fights. Fights. Because I would develop the country. Namibia has more than 50 recognized traditional authorities, and President Gengob wants them to emulate the inclusive approach demonstrated by the Ondonga Traditional Authority and accept Namibians from across the tribal and racial divide. Apparently it was trying to divide us to ethnic homelands. We said no to that. Therefore unified Namibia. While we are unified, we have cultures, different cultures, different religions. But as you said, to come and say, you are my president, we are there as traditional leaders to maintain our customs and cultures and traditions, but you are a president, elected by you. Huh? Of course, that's why we can come and also say something is wrong here in my country. Yes, I'm the servant in that case. So it's very good to hear this kind of situation and atmosphere. We hope it will permeate throughout Namibian traditional authorities and the government so that that synergies can be established and maintained. The Ondonga Traditional Authority leadership's visit to State House was to reciprocate President Gengob's visit to the Royal Palace for the coronation of Umkwanilwa Nangolo two years ago. This, Umkwanilwa says, is a sign of respect to the head of state while traditional leaders would assist the government in maintaining peace. We as Andonga are grateful because we understand that we are very much on track with the law as set by government by abiding to it. And we feel that all the Andonga people, including myself and the delegation that I brought here, are prepared to meet government halfway. To demonstrate their commitment to meet the government halfway, the Ondonga leader announced that the traditional authority allocated 100 hectares of land to produce crops. This follows good rains received in the five areas of the Ondonga jurisdiction. The crops would be distributed to drought-stricken communities and shared with government when requested. The Andonga people managed to cultivate 50 hectares of maize fields and this harvest will contribute to the nation's food security. And we are always happy when a part of our communities have been able or are looking forward to, to having a good harvest because it means that we can now concentrate on, on others that need support especially under the current environment where the economy is not doing so well and resources have reduced. Meanwhile, the State House meeting also refuted claims of favoritism in President Gengob's granting of audience to traditional leaders in the country's highest office. Dr. Gengob maintains openness in discussing concerns brought by all Namibians irrespective of racial and tribal backgrounds. Blanche Corres, NBC News, Ventuk.